Good afternoon, I'm Channel 9 meteorologist Jacqueline Shearer here with a quick check on your forecast. We did shoot this just before noon here, and we were just finally starting to see a little bit of a break in the Charlotte area. Most of that rain to the north of that 485 loop, but now South Carolina is starting to get a little bit of that rain. This break is very short lived. Don't get used to it. It's really just a chance to catch your breath in most of our area. So here's what we're talking about today. This flash flood watch in effect for all of the areas shaded in that dark green you see on your screen, and that will last all the way through this weekend because we're already seeing quite a few issues out there with that heavy rainfall. Areas you need to be especially concerned about would be near waterways as well as any roadways that you know are just prone to that pooling up. Also on this map, we have this blue area. That's a flood warning just for the entire region. A flash flood warning starts quickly and it recedes quickly, but a flood warning will stick around for quite some time. And that's what we're seeing here all throughout those areas shaded in blue. Here's a look at future cast as we're going through the next few hours. If you get a break, be grateful for it. It will not last long. More downpours on the way all throughout the afternoon into the evening, mostly for the northern areas, foothills and mountains getting quite a bit more rain. Our South Carolina County is looking like you'll start to dry up sooner rather than later, and then eventually the metro dries up by about 8 or 9 p.m. and just is left with a few light showers for tonight, and then unfortunately more rain for tomorrow. Tuesday is our next real break. We will be dry ahead of another system that arrives on Wednesday. We're timing it all out right here on Channel 9.